guys, it is Carla the Bubble Lush, and tomorrow is Valentine's Day. So last year, Hannah was just about five months old, and all Chris and I wanted to do was just get a night out away from the house and uh, maybe a good night's sleep. <laughs> I don't even think we gave each other Valentine's Day presents, and I definitely don't think I did really anything special for Hannah. But this year, Hannah is a little more fun. And um, Chris and I don't necessarily need a date night as much as we just want to tell each other how much we love each other and kind of just spend the night together. So in this video I wanted to show you some of the things I got Hannah for Valentine's Day. Now I kind of double dipped and I used the fact that she needed some new shoes and she also needed a couple outfits that fit her properly. So I included those in our Valentine's Day present but I also got her some fun stuff too. Not that much. She's not that spoiled. But I wanted to show you what I started out with. Her main present is her first pair of Tom's shoes. Now I don't even have a pair of Tom's shoes. I wear size 12 in women's so it's really hard for me to find styles that they carry in a size 12 and when they do they seem to sell out really quickly. My original thought was to get a pair of shoes for Hannah and I that match. They had this really cute pair of gray herringbone that had pink soles. While they still have them in Hannah's size they do not currently have them in my size so that idea was scrapped because I found these shoes and they don't have them in my size but they are too cute to pass up. So they are called the Classics Red Clea, C-L-E-A. They're a fairly new design. The lady at Nordstrom's had never even seen them before, so this is what they look like. And they're called the Tiny Toms. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Toms, I'm not necessarily a spokesperson. I don't even have a pair myself. But I like the fact that for every pair that you buy, they give a pair to a child in need. So, even though they are a little more expensive, like these are $29, I feel like, you know, you're doing something good. Plus I like what the whole company stands for. Everything is reused, um, repurposed, natural, sustainable. Like, I really like that that's the focus of the company. So it says, Tom's sustainable shoes are vegan friendly. The uppers are made of either pesticide-free cotton or a unique twill featuring hemp and recycled plastic bottles. The durable outsoles utilize recycled rubber and the cushioned footbed has a canvas cover for comfort and breathability. So again, this is what they look like, and they're Velcro. So they're super easy on and off. They have a really kind of funky inside design, but I love that they have red and pink and orange, like every color, it'll go with every outfit. These are just a really nice, fun play shoe. One for one, that's, uh, you know, you buy a pair and they give one to a child in need. So the thing that I learned about these is that um, obviously go to Tom's website and look and see what design you like and then see what like retailer near you carries Tom's. So the retailer near me that carried them is Nordstrom's. I went to Nordstrom's and I found that this is an online only style. So I would have had to pay $29 for the shoe plus like $7 for shipping. However, if I bought it at Nordstrom's, they sold the shoe for $28.95 and it was free shipping to my house. So just because they don't carry it in the store, ask if about their shipping policy to your house because it might end up being cheaper to buy it through the store than through the Tom's website. Cute, huh? And just for those wondering, Hannah is now um, approaching a size seven. <laughs> Her six and a halfs are getting a little small. She is 17 months and almost in a size seven. She's gonna have my feet. <laughs> All right, now Hannah also needed some clothes. She's currently wearing 18 to 24, but really she can wear size 2T pants, no problem. So I went to Gymboree, I took advantage of gym bucks and sale prices, and I got her some stuff from, I think it's called like Fairy Wishes, I think that's the line. So I got her this cute shirt, this is Wish. Um, this is a 2T, I think, yep, 2T. These super cute pants. This super cute shirt. These pants, 2T, they're little leggings. This is a great little, like, lightweight, fleecy kind of jacket, zip up with a hood. So it matches the other stuff, so we can go from indoor to outdoor without putting on a big bulky coat for, like, kind of the chillier days. It's got nice little pockets. It's a cute little jacket. Two T, so hopefully she'll be able to wear it for a while. And then I got her some socks. So basically two shirts, two pants, a sweater jacket thing, and two pairs of socks. 
So that's her cute little clothes that she got for Valentine's Day. And then the last thing is some entertainment. Hannah and I love watching Tangled. It's on Netflix streaming, so we watched every once in a while, but I really, I like it so much I wanted to add it to the collection. It's currently on sale at Target this week. It's regularly $19.99, it's on sale for $14.99. So I got her Tangled. Ooh. If you haven't seen this movie yet, it is pretty cute. I liked it a lot. And since um, I saved $5 on the video, I went and bought one of their 475 DVDs, which of course they're hoping that you do. But does anyone remember this? An American Tale. Yeah. And this is a, a double feature. It also has Fievel Goes West. Yeah. Who's starting to sing right now? Somewhere out there. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so anyways, that's what I got for Hannah. I got her shoes, some outfits, and some movies. What did you get your little one for Valentine's Day? I tried to stay away from like sweets and chocolates and stuff like that. And uh, I was going to get her, I'm tidying up here. I was going to get her um, Pinkalicious, that kind of a book, but I couldn't find it anywhere. I don't, I don't, maybe I wasn't looking in the right place. I couldn't find it. So that's why I went with the movies instead. Um, obviously I would usually opt for a book, but I really did like Tangled. <laughs> So um, I will talk to you guys later and I hope you have a wonderful, romantic Valentine's Day that is full of love and um, shared with people that you care about. I will talk to you guys tomorrow.